Okay. <clears throat> I did another data log of uh, something else. It's uh, the clean battery I use. Um, that thing right there, it's uh, uh, liquid detergent, uh, tap water. Um, and uh, the sulfuric acid was never added to it. Uh, the clean battery, I charged it every night, or pretty much every night, and from another 12 volt battery because it won't take a charge from a um, solar panel and it won't take a charge from a wall charger. So I have to use a, a another lead acid battery to charge it with. It acts more like a normal battery than the crystal cells that I do make. Like um, it acts more normal than one of these copper tube crystal cells or blue cells or whatever it's it acts more this clean battery acts more like a normal battery I'm going to show you a uh, comparison of this clean battery which acts like more like a normal battery uh, which is less efficient than a normal battery but uh, compare it to the crystal cell and here's the um, chart I have of it right here in this point right here is where I was charging it it's uh, 0.9 volts 0.95 then uh, disconnect it and it goes down to like 6.90 then goes down even more then I connect the um, LED load which is two LEDs uh, white LEDs in parallel uh, it drops it down to 3 volts then it goes down to 2.9 volts and it goes down to 2.85 2.80 2.75 2.70 and there it goes, goes 2.65 and it pretty much stays there so you can see a um, at the very end there, when I disconnect the LEDs it jumps it jumps back up to 3.05 yeah it jumps back up to 3.05 which is kind of odd but um, yeah when I disconnect the LEDs it jumps back to 3.102 so it goes back up um, but what's important I want you guys to notice is how this acts like a normal battery when you give it a load. And when you give it a load, it goes down. It went from two point, it went from three volts down to 2.80, 2.75, yada yada, 2.65. It was a gradual decrease, as you can see. And you can see I ran a test from uh, last night to this morning. Uh, but it's a gradual decrease. Okay, this is the opposite of what the crystal cells I have made do. The actual crystal cells. Here's comparison to the crystal cell. The crystal cell was dropped down in voltage, then it went up in voltage. And it kept going up. Even when I was disconnected, it, it wanted to go up even more at 1.25. So that's, that's a very um, interesting how it is like that. A normal battery, when you connect the load, it gradually goes down in voltage like you would expect and um, my crystal cell when you connect to the, connected a load a 100k resistor to it it dropped down but it went started going back up in voltage which is very odd and it's an exact opposite of what a uh, normal battery would do and um, you guys can try this at home just connect a um, double-a battery up to like a uh, 50 ohm resistor or whatever resistor and keep your multimeter connected and you'll see that the um, voltage will go down over time when you connect a resistor but with a crystal cell like I have made you connect the resistor to it and it goes up in voltage which is very odd um, but yeah this video is to kill like, pretty much kill two birds with one stone it's to show you the clean battery and how it does when you charge it and connect the LED load and see how long it runs. It runs forever on 2.65 and when you remove the um, LED load it jumps up to 3.10 volts. So that's odd. That's, that, that's interesting. Um, not really odd but interesting. Uh, but yeah, uh, this clean battery acts more like a normal battery should when you connect the load. Connect the load to it such as the LEDs or whatever, resistive load, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and it goes down in voltage, as you can clearly see, it's going down in voltage. Starts high, goes down. 
that's a normal battery. And the crystal cell, it goes, it drops down like a normal battery would, but it goes back up in voltage when we have the resistive load connected to it. And that is just odd. But yes, there you go, folks. Um, it's a little video of that, give you comparisons and an update on the clean battery and and um, yeah. Uh, the crystal cell is very odd. It goes up in voltage when you give it resistive load. 